right, Nola. Good morning, good morning. So I'm out here walking and uh, hope y'all can hear me. So it's a, this is probably a, another paradigm conversation. So I'm just walking and I'm thinking and I'm, you know, just kind of hurting a little bit, but still, still trying to stay focused. So um, I had this, you know, me and God was having this conversation and I realized, I said, you know, every time something, a tragedy or a crisis happens in our lives, sometimes it brings up so many different emotions, right? It brings up hurt, it brings up fear. A lot of times we really begin, we even get angry with God, uh, as if we have a right to be angry with God, but we get angry with God, we get upset, we're disappointed, and a lot of times that anger, that being upset and that disappointment is really, the root of it is fear and uh, an ignorance to who God really is. And what I mean by ignorance to who God really is, is that we, for some reason, we kind of act or believe in our mind. I, I guess we've been taught that God is this puppet master. And, you know, if, if something bad happens, it's because God made it happen or God uh, allowed it to happen. And I know I'm putting go against a lot of theology, or, well, not theology, but a lot of doctrine, but we always, we always use that as though God is, uh, he's sovereign, but um, he, he doesn't force things to happen. Um, God is sovereign. You know, there's a difference between sovereign and controlling. And so in that, uh, think of it this way. Um, God doesn't prevent us from drinking. He doesn't take the bottle out of your hand and put it down. He doesn't, he doesn't make you uh, do anything. You want to go to the club, you go to the club. And so sometimes we, we say, well, God allowed, allowed it from the wrong perspective. As in, it was, oh, I don't want to mess this up. As in, you know, this is something that God wanted to happen. And, you know, and I see the, the side of God allowing it is in this is just nature his nature is not to um his nature is not to cause or to be destructive his nature is love now what he will do is god will use the destruction he will turn it around and position things for you so that you'll come out on the better side of it, if you love him, but he's not gonna prevent trials and tribulations in your life. God is not gonna just say, oh, that's gonna make her cry. So let me, let me stand right here so that she don't cry. Or, oh, you know, he, I don't want him, he, he might, that might, you know, do something to him, so. Let me stay right now. That doesn't, it doesn't always happen that way. Are we protected? Yes, we are protected. But I'm trying to get you to understand that or to not blame God for things that was not done by God. I know we always want to have, it's like we always want to have an explanation as to what's going on. We always want to, try to logically in our brains fit things to operate the way we think they should go. You know, we don't think uh, this should happen. 
So because we don't think it should happen, God, why did you let this happen? Because we feel as though the situation should be controlled. We feel as though that it should be a, a certain level of suffering. There should be a certain level of disappointment when they don't always work like that. It don't always work like that. The beauty part of it and knowing God is that it, the peace, whoo, here's the weird, but the peace and knowing that no matter what, no matter what happens, if I have to start over again, if I have to rebuild again, it's okay. Check this out. He showed me, um, you know, a powder when when a powder is molded clay, right? If you ever watch a powder, sometimes as they're molding, they'll just stop and they'll smash it and then they'll start all over, right? Y'all know why they do that? Well, why I think they do that. I think they do that because they see that there's a, there's an infraction somewhere. They see that, oh no, this didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. So let me start over so that I can make it better when I'm redoing it, when I'm reshaping it, when I'm remolding it, when I'm re-sculpting it. So he'll start over, he'll smash the clay and begin to grind his hands around it and begin to shape it according to his hands or her hands or her tools. So think about that. Just, just think about it, you know. I, um, I don't have the answers. I really don't have a lot of answers. I don't have any answers. I got a whole lot of questions. But I do know one thing. I know the peace of God. I know the sovereignty of God. I know the nature of God. Even in his correction, I know the love of God in his correction. Am I saying? I'm not saying. Don't don't misread me. But that that's what I do know. But I don't know nothing else. I know that in the midst of tragedy, in the midst of having to start over time and time again. And y'all, I'm tired of starting over. Oh, I'm so tired. Tired of having to start over. But I, I realize as I look back, when I've started over on the inside, the inside of me, has always been stronger. I've always been a, it has built my fortitude. It has built my strength. It's like starting over added another layer of concrete to my life. It made my roots go deeper. Because you have to trust God in a whole new way. In a whole new way and I'm, I'm you know, get ready to really start or do a complete reset. Um, but just like many of you, and it's scary, it's uncertain. Uh, it's frustrating. It's angering. But even in all that, you have to know within yourself that God got you. And that's all that matters. Because if He got you, you're not going to lose nothing. You ain't gonna lose nothing. Now you may say, yeah, I lost a lot. I lost all this stuff. No, you ain't lost nothing because you have no clue as to what has been added to you. Just because you don't see it there yet, that doesn't mean it hasn't already been sent your way. All right, are you getting me? Are you understanding what I'm saying? So I pray y'all be encouraged. Be blessed. 
I paid my little piece of conversation with God this morning. Bless your life. If it made you mad, hope it made you mad enough to think about what I was saying. If it made you question, that's all right. But just know that the way we see God and I've been hearing too many comments about why God let this happen to New Orleans. God didn't go and kick the tower into the river. It, it, it didn't happen like that. That is not his will. He's not doing that. So, y'all be blessed. Just know the nature of him and know that you're still okay. You're still okay. Even if, for those of us who have lost loved ones, that is a tragedy. It's a tragedy of a, of a circumstance. The Holy Spirit is still your comforter. He can still be your comforter. All right? So y'all be blessed.